So before the break, we did activity 5.2b, which was an intro to CAD modeling skills. And very similar to that activity in 5.5a CAD modeling features, we're gonna use some pre-made part files to learn about some of the features of Autodesk Inventor. For this activity then, we're going to need the PDF, which has the directions on what we're doing, and along with the part files, which can be found within the zip folder. So each of these need to be downloaded. When we open up the PDF, it looks something like this, and we're gonna follow these directions as we go through the activity. So I'm gonna do a couple of these as an example before I let you guys work through the rest for this activity. So starting with number one then, tapered extrusions, we're gonna open the file called extrude taper. When I do, it's gonna look like this in Inventor. And from there, I wanna do a one inch extrusion with a negative 10 degree taper. So to do that, I'll click on extrude. It's extruding at one inch. And I'm gonna click on the more tab and add a negative 10 degree angle to the taper and okay. The next example I want to do is number three, the hole. So I'll go back to the instructions. Now this one's several pages long because each hole has different settings. So make sure that you're referencing these as you're working through the activity. So an inventor, I'm going to open up the part file that's called drilled holes and work through the different types of holes. Now to do this, I need to select the point specifically that I want to place the hole on. Otherwise it'll use the same settings on each of these points. So I'm gonna click on this one first, click on hole. In this case, I'm gonna do a through hole with a diameter of 0.25. So I'm all good with that and I'll hit okay. Notice that when I do that, the other points that I was gonna use disappeared. And to get those to come back, I have to share the sketch. To do that, I'll go to the browser, I'll hit the plus sign hover over sketch two, notice that the little points come back and I'm gonna right click and share the sketch. Now I can use these points again for the rest of the holes and that's something that I only have to do one time. So let's do the next hole, I'm gonna select that point, click on hole. This next one's gonna be a counter bore. So I'm gonna to go to the second option which is my counter bore and then use the settings on the instruction sheet. So the outside of the larger diameter is 0.75. It has a depth of 0.25 and a smaller diameter of 0.375. And this hole goes all the way through as well. And I'll hit OK. On to the next hole, which is a countersink. So I select this point, select hole, go down to countersink. For these settings, the outside diameter is 0.75, which is good. The Angle is 82 degrees, which is already set, and a diameter for the smaller hole of 0.375. I'm good with that, so I'll hit apply and move on to the next hole. Next one is a threaded hole. So I'm going to click on the point, select hole. For this one, we're going to turn the threading on. It's going to be a threaded hole. And the settings I want to use are the size is going to be 0.25. My designation would be quarter inch 20 UNC, and I want this to be full depth, so I want it to go across the entire hole that I'm putting and hit OK. For the last one, it's going to be a clearance hole. To get to that, I need to select this as the option. I'm going to select hex head bolt. Size is going to be half of an inch. I hit OK. With that done, the next activity that I want to work on is the circular pattern. So I'm going to go down in the directions until I find that. Here's the circular pattern. I'm going to open the file called circular pattern that was in that zip folder. And when I do, it looks something like this. I'm going to select circular pattern from the pattern panel. First thing I need to do is select the feature. I can either do that directly on the object or I can do it from the browser, either way. Then I'm going to click on the arrow next to rotation axis and select the axis that's already been drawn here. And then it says to do 10 placements, so I'll do 10 and OK. Similar to this, we can do the rectangular pattern. So the rectangular pattern is here. I'm going to open up that file as well. In the same place above circular pattern is rectangular pattern. I'm going to select the feature first 
then I can set the direction. So starting with, let's say, the X direction. And I don't want my pattern to go off of the object, so I'm going to flip that. And I want to make six copies in the X direction. And I'll select the arrow for direction two. This would be the Y direction. And I want to be four in the Y direction. When I'm done with these settings, I'm going to hit OK. And I get that as the final product. So just like the previous activity, rather than turning in part files, you're going to be submitting screenshots of your work for me to grade. So if I go back to the original one here, my tapered extrusion, I'm going to hit the print screen button on the keyboard. I'm going to go into a Word document. We're going to add in the title of this activity, your name and the date. And then this first one is the tapered extrusion. I'm going to paste that using Control V, my picture there. And if I double click on the picture, I can edit it. Specifically, I want to crop out part of the inventor user interface that I don't necessarily need to see. When I'm done with that, I hit the crop button again. It'll cut the picture. And we'll repeat this process for each of the drawings that are in this activity. When you're done, save this Word document, and then you'll be uploading it on the LMS 4.5.5, and then we'll move on to the next activity.